Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahabtu fillah a question was asked Assalamu alaykum brother can you tell us what it means to choose one topic and study and master it to have patience and gratitude to have patience and gratitude doing that and to not study multiple topics at one time and get nothing done causing depression uh the question is not entirely clear uh, what's being asked but what i assume is being asked is that some people study uh, gain too much information they try to study many islamic sciences at the same time and then in the end they get nothing out of it so there's a couple of issues a couple of things that are going on here and first and foremost there's a statement of the Salaf that they said, whoever takes uh, knowledge uh, in bulk, if you will, they lose it in bulk. Meaning if you get too much information that you're unable to process and practice, then you will forget it because you're doing it all at once. You're doing it in a hurry. But one thing that we've talked about on more than one occasion is the importance of not having inkita, meaning to not stop seeking knowledge, not take a break or have things distract you on your path of seeking, uh, uh, doing talab al -ilm. And so uh, this is very important to have patience and take and process the knowledge that you're able to do so we can't say oh you can only study one science at a time no that depends on the individual some people they cannot be distracted they have to study one text or one <coughs> one daughters or one series of lectures other people can study four or five drus four or five different books in different lessons with different scholars and benefit from all of it and keep it so it depends upon the individual so that comes down to knowing what you're able to do and what you're able to accomplish yourself. Uh, secondly, very important that you do not stop. So that in kita, that stopping, that taking a break or having things that uh, interrupt your studies, that can be the biggest destroyer of seeking knowledge or one of the great destroyers of seeking knowledge and being on the path of uh, Talib al-Ilm is that you 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 take a big break for example a person may be studying arabic and they don't quite get enough arabic to really read and 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 benefit from books so the, and then they stop and they stop for six months then they end up having to go right back to the beginning almost of where they began and then they might have achieved something greater and then they stop and then they have to go back over and over so this shows us the importance of memorization as well and it shows us the importance of just in general al mumarisa meaning to to be continuous to 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 be continuous in your studies and the end result is if you do gain too much information and then you leave that information and are distracted and often due to sin or sin becomes a part of that equation is this causes depression of course because at the end of the day you don't achieve anything and there are countless examples of brothers and sisters, but especially brothers that we know who went overseas to study. And they maybe sat in a lot of durus or what have you. But at the end of the day, they didn't. Allah didn't favor them to have that tawfiq in gaining knowledge and benefiting with it. Either maybe they didn't practice. Could it be their sincerity? Or it could be it was just too much information and they were eager to be with their colleagues at the same level but they weren't on the same caliber and they didn't have the same comprehension but they were in the rules that they were way over the head and in the end of the day they really didn't benefit anything even after years so this is also problematic and those are just some of the issues that uh can be uh obstacles to your learning and Again, the most important thing is kind of having an idea of your own basic level and studying in accordance with that. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.